Hello and welcome everyone to another Fort's strategy video. This time it's going to be Catacomb and I think I'm just going to start it off facing J Jaje Turbo. So, I don't know. Let's see, let's start it up. This strategy can go in several different ways, highly depending on what your opponent does. There's no one strategy that's going to work because this map can be very volatile, might I say. It hi like like I said it highly depends on if your opponent builds a lot of machine guns or if they're whatever they're doing because that can change what you're able to do. For example, if they build a ton of armor, spamming down 20 machine guns right away may not be the best idea. And you'll see what I mean once we get into this game. So we are in. First thing I like to do is go straight up for my economy, but that can be risky because like I said, if they start getting all those machine guns out, you always want to be ahead of them on the machine guns. So right off the bat, getting down two or three machine guns can be highly suggested. Now let's see. Scared of that. So if I start seeing background bracing, that worries me. If I start seeing doors, that's going to worry me even more. But until I do see background bracing, I'm just going to build up my economy like usual. The longer it takes for him to get weapons, the better. Especially armor. If he takes a while to get armor, he will hopefully be in for a surprise. But here we go with his extended wood meaning yeah so a lot of this is just going to be watching your opponent and seeing what they do because if he starts building a lot of machine guns I need to start firing and like I said if he starts building a lot of armor machine guns won't be the way to go but as far as I can tell mass machine gun will work perfectly fine Okay, I did hear something go down. Not gonna worry about it though, just gonna keep on expanding. So, if you haven't guessed already, this strategy, one way to do it is build a lot of machine guns as fast as you possibly can. Remember to pull them back a little bit to leave room for doors later on. But as you can see, he has a lot of wood, but no armor. So this will deal a lot of damage. If he had armor, I don't know. I probably would hold off on this entire scenario until I had miniguns. And if he's slanting his armor, I would just go straight into mortars. That's one thing about this map, is it's very hard to counter mortars. So if I do what I usually do with mortars on this map, and you'll hopefully be able to see, then he'll have a very hard time... Just aim all these. So now all I have to do is press tab and E to fire all of them. And it creates this sort of rainbow, I like to call it, of bullets. I'm just going to aim these a little bit lower. Come on. There we go. Okay, now straight into an upgrade center because that's what I need, and another wind turbine when I can afford it. If I ever can. Because my energy is going to have a lot of problems. You are firing so many machine guns that your energy just has so much trouble keeping up. Now, I do decide to put my turbines in front of my base just because it lets me not have to spend time and resources putting them elsewhere and I can and there's still a little bit of buildable area up here so I can place mortars on top if I need now because I'm still running low on energy I'm going to place another turbine because I can oh he's going straight into shield 
I don't know where his wind turbines are where that's going to support those, though. That is an interesting choice indeed. So hopefully I'll be able to disconnect his base. Now, I'm not really going to worry about him retaliating. Very good chance. Like, those miniguns are very expensive, so you really don't want them dying. And looks like he's just going to go straight into a lot of shields by the looks of it. So I'm just going to aim both of those up, and the rest of these I'm going to aim lower. I actually do not see very many people build shields against this, but I guess it happens. So next step, aim all of these. And now he has to repair a different part of his base. Oh look, his, sh his shields are actually out of energy. So let me just get one of these down. Normally I'd put a door on the workshop if I, th I mean a door on the miniguns if I had thought that he would have something against that, but currently I really doubt he has any weapons. So let's not kill him just quite yet. I do want to show how I do mortars. And if it isn't obvious already, it kind of sort of goes like this. But of course the workshop is going to take a little while longer to build. But that's alright. This minigun fire can annoy him longer. And he's just going to keep on trying to build wood, which is good. The more damage I can do, the better. If he just built some more armor instead of shields, I think it would have been perfectly fine. Yeah, so to counter this, just place slanted armor. If they place slanted armor, it's good to have the machine guns there so you can kill their machine guns, but going straight into mortars up there is always nice. So, yes, if they don't build any more armor, this does destroy their core, which is nice. And he's about to be disconnected from his bottom bit, which is also nice. Now, I just started mine of his. Now, just for video's sake, I do want to get these mortars to fire, just to sort of give you guys an idea of how to use them. Just fire this off. Now if you want, you can hide this, obviously, just by, if I can get it through the rope, doing something like this, but that, uh, ah, that's, that was a mistake, actually. It does put a little bit of strain on the ropes, though, I don't know. Now just selecting this hockey, you do not want to fire too far. Actually, that was a perfect shot my first try. Obviously, not suggested to not have doors, but whatever. Also, not suggested to fire both more uh, machine guns and mortars at the same time. Let's get those going. Then let's fire these. And let's fire all these. And just go back and forth. I realize I'm not spending my materials, but I do think it's GG. As I highly doubt he has anything to counter this. And I'm actually missing now with my mortars, which is kind of funny. He is just like the AI, just won't stop building. Let's go a little bit further with the mortars. That my uh, no, that was actually pretty good. I thought it was gonna be too high for a moment. And oh, it looks like he's just about done. And he is down. GG. And welcome back. This is going to be the second game of this map, and hopefully uh, Triple T will show you guys what it's like when somebody actually destroys some of the machine guns before yeah. they get that powerful. Yes. So say hi, Triple. Hello. Just going to start it. Should load pretty quickly, hopefully, but whatever. No, it's my fault. And we have begun. So, hmm, I don't know. How am I going to do this? 
You know, it's bad when the person showing the video asks how he's gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. This Don't is worry just about what I'm doing. like I said previously. This is just such a volatile map. So many different things can happen, completely depending on what your opponent does. Actually, I think I'm going to do this in a somewhat sneaky way. Aha, mm. uh -huh, I knew it. <laughs> so yeah, he is doing basically the exact same strategy from last time that I showed you guys, except, you know, a little bit more resource efficient uh, for the sake of I space but yeah, I, was for... I should be able to shut that down pretty quickly dang it nope 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 dang it you're not getting away with this oh I guess you are <laughs> so as you can see he's built very little resource things I think I'm just going to go straight for the center that I hold in my hand so that he doesn't know because this actually, if he knows everything I do, might go bad for me. <laughs> just saying. Close, close, close. Ooh. Dang. I was hoping you wouldn't notice and would fire again, so I was holding right off now, of fire. I can hear the thing open. <laughs> you heard it open and you just sort of... I, I close the door, I'm like, nope. Ah! <laughs> so close. That was a miss, yeah. Okay. Let's see. What can I do? Nothing. I have Everything. all the power in my hands. I got the whole world in my hands. I got a copyright strike on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna mute the chat. Alright, see you, JJ. Oh. I am quick on the draw. I... Although not quick enough. <laughs> oh. Suck. Uh. Okay. I'll accept that. Uh, ah! Shit, I might have fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I don't know how that happened. I know how that happened. I'm gonna fix how that happened. Right now. Please don't. Fuck. Ooh. Cheeky. I know. What? <laughs> So Maybe as you I saw, know. what I just built, uh, loyal viewers, <laughs> no, I'm joking, but, uh, I do need to start working on such things. Eh. Ooh, baby. Come on. Give me the resources. Oh, I don't know what, re uh, what strategy you're going for now. Yeah, I know. You, you kind of have to change it depending on what your opponent does. But you don't really see me play on this map that often when it isn't just a full out rush. Oh, and I see you got miniguns. Oh well. No, those aren't miniguns. What are you talking oh, well, about? Oh, what are they then? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> What's this new weapon you came up with that fires just like a minigun? <laughs> It's a minigun look-alike. I see. Or so I've heard. Slightly. I, I see, says a blind man. <laughs> close the doors, close the doors. <laughs> <laughs> you really are not taking any chances, are you? No, I'm not.
You haven't built the extra set of mines. Interesting. Oh, fuck that. I don't need those mines. I'm too cool for those mines. Those mines don't deserve me. I'm saving my right click after I shoot because I'm like, nope, not happening. Oh, it will happen. Other doors. And not using my resources. Why it's fuck. <laughs> and there goes that. Fuck. <laughs> and how, no, no. how are you gonna deal with this, huh? Oh. Uh, Goodbye, wind turbine. Yeah. You <laughs> may or may not be missed. Shut the door, you nincompoop. <laughs> nincompoop. Uh, well, I, I heard you about to say idiot. Why'd you stop? <gasps> I can now fire at them! <laughs> what is breaking? Oh, okay, that's all gone. <laughs> oh, wow. <And> that's <laughs> game over. So yeah, if what? they... If you see that they're gonna take down your machine guns and miniguns, Get a sniper, get an AP sniper. I got a few machine guns just in case. And then those mortars, like like I said, they can't really do anything against your mortars, especially if you have something to kill all their machine guns. So, put them right there. yeah, those are the, that's the two ways this map can go. It's either a mortar rush or machine gun rush, slash minigun rush. But as you saw, I slanted all my armor, as Triple T probably How? also sees. How did you get? can kill me. I had like a full reactor health too. <laughs> I'm just that cool. My mortars are like, oh, Quick's covers is firing. We gotta be super powered mortars now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the replay right now. <laughs> I think this, this barrage where it hits the miniguns damage your reactor. Yeah, your reactor is brought down to half health when my first mortar barrage hit. And then the second uh... mortar barrage hit. I was and it killed it. My mind back up. I didn't even focus on what's going on up top. <laughs> yeah, that ends the game so quickly. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Fort Discord in the description. Tournaments in the Discord. Join my Twitter if you want more news. Subscribe for videos. Yeah, that's, that sounds about it. If you guys want more strategy videos, I appreciate feedback and comments and all that nice shenanigans. And I hope to be doing more of this in the future, so hopefully see you guys in the next few videos. Have a wonderful evening.